It's the right word. And uh, he's going to talk about how he uses them and how we might. It says here, Lamazny is a father, husband, artist, consultant, technologist, designer, poet, and open source evangelist living and working in New Jersey. He is the manager of instructional technology at Rider University and manages the technology training program for everyone at the university. So, yeah. Thank you very, very much. And I'm thrilled to be back here again today. I'm actually doing a couple things. I'm recording this talk in audio. I'm also using my favorite new toy called the Flip. Maybe you read about it. David Pogue had some good things to say about it. It's one of my favorite uh, video recorders I've ever owned, despite its limitations. And so just for a few slides, I'm going to record myself just to sort of try and capture some of the environment here today. And the presentation itself will also be up online at lamazny.com. If you know how to spell my last name, you know how to get to all this content. And if you have any questions today, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, if I think that it's going too deep into one particular topic that maybe is not applicable for everybody else, I may ask that you contact me separately later just because we don't have a lot of time today and we have a lot of content that we want to get into. So to start, we're actually using Firefox for this presentation. Firefox is navigated to uh, Google Docs, which is where my presentation lay. And so this is the first way in which we're sort of demonstrating the usefulness of Firefox. But this is nothing special. You could use any browser in order to go to Google Docs. But I just want to talk about the way that I really started to think of the browser as the almost like an operating system. It's, it's the place where I start. And if I can get to the functionality that I need on my computer through the browser and have all of my stuff centralized somewhere, like Google Docs, and I, I have all of my Gmail up on Gmail, and I have all of my you know, whatever on some website somewhere, it means that I don't have to leave my browser as much. I can stay within my browser. And so I spend a lot of time customizing my browser. I can only do this because of the extensibility of Firefox. Um, I wanted to give you this agenda to talk about what I'm going to talk about today. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the search functionality in Firefox. You can search in any browser, but there is something really neat about the way that you can search in Firefox. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about extensions, which I think is the number one reason why you should be using Firefox and Thunderbird. Uh, we're going to talk about tabs, which was an innovation uh, that Firefox came up with, and at least in the browser space. I mean, really, it's an extension of what Windows had been doing at the bottom of their Windows screen for a very long time. But they made that jump and allowed you to do that right inside your browser. Live bookmarks or RSS feeds we're going to talk about today because I think that's one of the most exciting things that's happened in the last five years in internet browsing. And privacy, we're going to talk about how easy it is for Firefox to allow you to clean up your tracks. Then we're going to talk about Thunderbird. We're going to talk about filters, which I think um, is a very underutilized feature in your email client and you have filters in basically any email client. I just really like the way that Thunder Thunderbird <coughs> makes use of filtering. We're going to talk about tags which was something that had been happening in the blogosphere and in many other places on the internet and when it came to my email client I became very excited very quickly. It allows me to essentially organize without folders and we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about search within Thunderbird. In other words, not searching the internet, but rather searching the internet of my email, everything that's in my email. I'm collecting all this information all the time. I need a way to manage it. Search in Thunderbird is a great way to do that. We're going to talk about extensions that are specific to Thunderbird. And we're going to talk about the address book just because it's a really very popular uh, aspect of email. So at this point, 